My name is Diana Del Monte and I am an animal communicator. I communicate telepathically with animals. This is a universal language, the unspoken language of all species. Everything has a consciousness. Animals actually think in pictures. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I never chose this type of work. <laughs> I was an artist. I was Skept, very skeptical. I was with a musician uh, 22 years. We didn't want animals. We didn't want children. We only were focused on our work. So one day, my partner brought home a, a little kitten. And a few years later, I had maybe five or six uh, cats. One day, I was writing at my desk, and my pen ran out of ink. So I was walking through the house looking for another pen. And as I was about to enter my partner's music studio, I heard in my mind, look out, I'm down here. And I looked down and there was my cat, Bubby, laying at the door and I just dismissed it. I just didn't believe it. A couple months go by and an image flashed through my mind of Bubby straining to urinate. And again, I didn't believe it. I'm telling you, I was very skeptical. I dismissed it. Two days later, he did block completely. I had to rush him to the vet. Bubby taught me animal communication. It's just a process of becoming more aware of the thoughts in your mind, the images in your mind, and the feelings in your body. What I love most about the work is that it deepens relationships between people and their animals. One pit bull attacking his person, she had a lot of unresolved grief that she wasn't processing. And when we finally realized this, and she did a lot of work on herself, the dog immediately stopped attacking her. Another dog attacking the woman's brother, and he had told me that the brother was a pain in the ass, <laughs> that he didn't do any work in the house, and it was true. And the woman was not expressing her feelings to her brother. The dog was speaking out for the woman. One animal showed me being in a church parking lot. He was sitting... He was sitting in the parking lot and the woman, and she said, well, it's a mile away. My cat hasn't left the patio in 12 years. Why would he have traveled a mile away from the house? And I said, well, I don't know, but why don't you go and look? <laughs> and she did, and there he was, just sitting there in the parking lot. So she got her animal back. One cat was urinating in the house. He said, there's no smoking in the house and we can't jump on the counters anymore. And that sounded so ridiculous, I didn't know what it meant. And it turned out the woman had just moved in with her boyfriend and he was a smoker. And he didn't want the cats on the counter, so their whole routine was uh, upset. They were picking up the tension between the woman and the man. The animals do not like it when we argue, because animals have viewpoints that are very different from ours. Our animals are our teachers and our healers. People learn about themselves through their animals. Their lives change, their hearts open, the relationships deepen, and that's what's so rewarding about this, about this work.